This video tutorial is all about fish farming. Fish are an important part of the human diet, accounting for a worldwide average of 15% of humans' protein intake. Most fish are caught from the wild. If fish are caught at a faster rate than the remaining fish can reproduce, the population of fish will decrease. For example, North Sea cod have been overfished since the 1960s. The size and number of boats fishing for cod has increased. As a result, the number of breeding fish left has decreased and so has cod population as a result. Fish farms are ways of raising large numbers of fish in a small space to provide protein for humans. There are several advantages over wild caught fish, including the ability to selectively breed the fish to ensure, ensure um, sort of high quality, fast growing fish, the ability to protect them against predators, the ability to control water quality, and the ability to control feeding to ensure rapid growth. Now you need to understand the key methods used to farm large numbers of fish to provide a source of protein. Now these methods include maintaining water quality, controlling intra and interspecific predation, controlling disease, removing waste products, controlling the quality and frequency of feeding and selective breeding. We're gonna go through each of these briefly in this video tutorial. So firstly, maintaining water quality. Water is filtered to remove waste and harmful bacteria to prevent diseases. Additionally, to maintain high oxygen levels for aerobic respiration. Another advantage of fish farms is that you can control inter and intra-specific predation. Intra-specific predation is competition within the same species. Now, fishes are separated by size and age using nets to prevent intraspecific competition. Interspecific competition or predation is um, competition between different species. Different species of fish are separated by fences, nets, and tanks to prevent interspecific predation. Another advantage of fish farms is that you can control disease. Fishes are given antibiotics to increase their resistance to diseases and minimize spread of disease amongst the populations, hence increasing chances of survival. Furthermore, fish farms enable waste products to be removed from the water via a variety of different methods. The water can be filtered to remove the waste products, um, and those waste products might be things like feces or sewage. Fences, nets, and tanks can be cleaned to minimize exposure to waste. And the location of the fish can be changed to ensure clean water. Fish farms enable us to control the quality and frequency of feeding. Within fish farms, fishes are fed a nutritious diet in small quantities to ensure growth, whilst preventing overconsumption or predation. And a final key advantage of fish farms that you need to be aware of is selective breeding. Farmers may use selective breeding to only allow the fast growing fishes to reproduce, resulting in a large population of fish. So what we have seen in this video tutorial is there are a large number of reasons why fish farms um, are advantageous and preferred methods of fishing over wild fishing methods.